Well, hey guys, it's Darwin, and today I wanna to do something a little bit different here on the channel, and that is share my full 2024 not ultralight backpacking gear list of everything that I've been carrying out on some of my smaller winter backpacking trips and mountaineering trips here in the States, and everything that I'll be carrying for my upcoming 15 day trek through the Himalayas and my climb of Island Peak in Nepal. So for nine years here on the channel, I've done a ton of different gear loadout videos, and they've all been based around my through hikes, all of my four to six month long distance hikes here in the States. And up until getting into alpinism, my focus has always been on trying to stay as ultra light, but efficient and comfortable while I'm out for multiple months on the trail. Well, now getting into mountaineering, obviously there's so many other things that factor into that, like staying safe and having climbing equipment, bigger, heavier duty boots so my feet don't freeze off at higher elevations, and more warmer layers so I'm warm and comfortable, again, at lower temps at higher elevations. And over the last nine years, I've never done like a traditional heavier backpacking gear loadout, but now that I'm about to head over to Nepal to climb Island Peak, I figured it would be a perfect time to show you guys what I've been using on some of my trips. Now, everything that I have in my pack that I'm gonna show you guys today is, like I said, what I've been using on these smaller trips, but for Nepal, I will not be taking my shelter or my cook system, and I will be adding extra camera equipment to film a short documentary while I'm over there. So, let's, uh open up my pack, I'll spread everything out, talk about each item individually, and then at the end, I'll give you both of my base weights. All right, so let's start off with my big three. First up is the pack that I'll be carrying, which is a prototype of a new pack that I've been working on. This is the Evolved Supply Co. 50 liter framed pack with a fully padded hip belt. On my shoulder straps, I have one ESC shoulder pocket and a Peak Designs capture clip for my camera on the other side. Inside of the pack, I have a Nylofume pack liner and my Gossamer Gear 8th inch folded thin light pad. Moving down to my sleep system, inside of a Z-Pax DCF stuff sack, I have my Enlightened Equipment Zero Degree Enigma quilt. Above that, I have my Sea to Summit Eros Ultralight Pillow and a pair of Enlightened Equipment Torrid Sleep Booties. The sleeping pad that I'm taking is my Thermarest X-Therm Size Large. And then moving over to my shelter, this is a new tent for me. This is the Z-Pax Free Zip Freestanding Tent. And above that are some various stakes like uh, different sizes of the MSR groundhogs from the regulars and the minis, along with a couple of the REI snow stakes. Next up are all the things that I keep inside of my ditty bag. And speaking of my ditty bag, that is a Hilltop Pax DCF custom ditty bag. I have my little bag of toiletries and repair items for the trail. Also inside my ditty bag, I keep a Rology cork massage ball, my little Montbell side satchel, so when I'm walking around in villages, I have something to carry resupplies in, and my wallet with some credit cards and some cash. Sliding over is a pair of Apple AirPods and my iPhone 14 Pro, a new headlamp that I'm specifically using for this trip, which is the Petzl Swift RL. It's 1100 lumens and it has a really long runtime, which is great because I'm gonna be starting my climb in the dark. My power bank, which is the Anchor PowerCore PD 20,000 milliamp battery. I have a couple charging cables and adapters, including my Shezzy 4-in-1 cable. Above that are a couple of wall chargers, so my Moken 40 watt charger and a US to Nepal adapter. Moving over from there, I have my cook system, which consists of the Soto Windmaster stove and a new pot that Evolve Supply Co. is about to release, the Evolved 1100 titanium cook pot. Moving down, I have my food bag, which is a Hilltop Pax custom printed food bag a long-handled evolved titanium spoon, and a Big Sky Insulite Cozy for my backpacking meals to keep my food warmer when it's colder outside. For water storage, I have my 32 ounce Nalgene water bottle. I've had this one in particular for years, hence all the stickers. 
And above that, I have a Canuck Vesica one liter collapsible bottle with my Sawyer Micro Squeeze. And then last but not least, I have my poop kit, which consists of a Kula Clean bidet and my Vargo Dig Dig titanium trowel that also doubles as another snow stake. Moving on to my extra clothes and layers that I'll be carrying in my pack. First up is a knit beanie that I actually bought a couple years ago in Nepal. A pair of Patagonia running shorts that I also like to hike in from time to time. A pair of icebreaker merino wool tights. And a Patagonia Capiline cool t-shirt. Next up is a pair of Enlightened Equipment Torrid Insulated Pants. Now I specifically have these for base camp just to keep me warm as I'm sitting around. My outer shells, which are the Enlightened Equipment Visp Rain Jacket and the Visp Rain Pants. For my gloves, I have a pair of Enlightened Equipment Torrid Mitts, and those are specifically for camp and keeping my hands a little extra warm. My main pair of climbing gloves, which are a pair of black diamond gloves that have a leather palm, and a pair of Showa 282 ice gloves that I use as an outer glove that are waterproof. The main jacket that I'll be wearing for my trek and for the climb is my Evolve Supply Co. Outcast hooded jacket. And last but not least is my Z-Pax down jacket that I'll basically just use as an extra layer of warmth under my Outcast when I'm in base camp. Okay, next up are the clothes that I'll be wearing on the trek and the climb, starting with my Nerona flex pants, super comfy for hiking and climbing, my Evolve Supply Co. Mirage Merino sun hoodie, my ESC hiking cap, which is great under a helmet and super breathable, and the main fleece that I'll be wearing for probably most of the trek, because it will be pretty chilly, is my Mountain Hardware Power Grid fleece, and that is the hooded version. Moving up to the shoes that I'll be trekking up to base camp in are the Topo Pursuit 2 and a pair of my favorite hiking socks, which are the Darn Tough Run Merino socks. I can't leave home without my buff that I've had forever and my pair of Ombra's Ligero prescription sunglasses with the little glacier side shields on them and my trekking pole, which is a black diamond Alpine carbon cork Z pole. All right, this next section of gear is the specific climbing equipment that I'll be taking with me to do Island Peak. So first up is my climbing harness, which is a Petzl, I actually forget what the model is, but a Petzl climbing harness, which has a Gravel Clipsedra carabiner on the front. I have my Petzl Ascension tool with slings and carabiners. My entire climbing rack and my harness goes in this black diamond toolbox stuff bag. The crampons that I'll be using for the climb are my Petzl Irvis hybrid crampons. I have two blue ice ice screws. And my main climbing rack consists of a micro traction, tib block, an ATC, various slings, a hollow block, and some carabiners. The ice axe that I'll be taking for the climb is my Petzl Gully ice axe with a black diamond leash. Just in case it's windy on the summit, I'm bringing my Smith Sequence goggles, my climbing helmet, which is the black diamond vapor helmet, and the Scarpa Phantom 6000 boots. These are a double insulated boot and they are rated for 6,000 meters. And the last couple things are the pair of socks that I'll wear with those boots while I'm climbing, which is a pair of regular darn tough merino boot socks and a pair of Njinji sock liners. The next bit of gear is stuff that I wouldn't typically carry on some of these smaller trips, but the extra camera equipment that I'll be taking with me over to Nepal to shoot this short film. The camera that I'll be taking to film this trip is my Fuji X-H2S with a Fuji 16 to 55 2.8 zoom lens. I have one battery in the camera and I'm taking three extra Fuji batteries. For a couple of action camera shots, my GoPro 11 black with a little selfie stick slash tripod, two extra GoPro batteries, and above that is an SD card holder with a bunch of extra cards for filming. Moving over is my travel tripod, which is an Aoka carbon tripod, a color checker Passport Pro so I can properly white balance, a Rode Video Micro 2, 
and a Tascam DR10 lav recorder. All right, guys, there you go. That's everything that I'll be carrying for 15 days through the Himalayas to do my climb of Island Peak. And again, I will not be taking my shelter or my cook system, and I'll be adding all of that extra camera equipment. So the first base weight that I'll share with you guys is everything that I've been carrying here in the States. And that is with the shelter, that is with the cook system, and with my normal camera equipment that I usually carry. And that base weight for everything comes out to 25.4 pounds. Uh, that is minus food, water, and the clothes that are on my back. Now, if I take out the shelter, I take out the cook system, and I add that extra camera equipment for Nepal, for the climb of Island Peak, my base weight comes out to 24.3 pounds. So not too shabby for all of the stuff that I'm actually carrying. It's funny, I never thought that I would say that high of a base weight in a gear list here on my channel, but when you consider all of the climbing equipment and the camera equipment and all of those extra warm layers, it's not too bad and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I am really, really excited to get over to Nepal and finally do this climb. I've been dreaming of this trip for the past two years, the other times I've been in Nepal. I cannot wait to climb Island Peak and then share that with you here on the channel. Uh, while I'm over in Nepal, I'm actually gonna be doing a live Q&A from Namche Bazaar at 11,000 feet. So keep an eye here on the channel and I'll update you guys on when that live Q&A is gonna be. Uh, when I get back from Nepal, I'm gonna be doing another full gear loadout video of my ultralight backpacking gear setup of everything that I'm gonna be using for my summer hikes. So some of the PCT section hikes that I've already been doing, some of the ones that I have coming up, my 2024 Tour de Mont Blanc and my Highlander Big Bear trip. If you guys are interested in coming to hike with me for two to three to four days in Big Bear, California, check out the link down below. It's gonna be an awesome event. It's this June. And if you decide to register, use my code DARWIN20 to get 20% off of your registration. All right, I'm gonna get all this stuff back in my pack and get over to Nepal. Guys, I hope that you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're taking care of each other. I love you. And as always, thanks for watching.